What's happening, chess fans? Welcome to Net Chess and Chill. Today is episode number 39 of my Rapid Rating Climb series, and we are on a journey to 700 ELO. So, if you guys enjoy my content, please like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into today's game. All right, let's get a game in. Good luck, Kevin. Um, play D4. We will start with the good old D4. Come on, man. Show us you're there. All right, he plays a weird opening. Um, I'm gonna play this. Get my knights out. Probably hit the, excuse me, push my dark squared bishop over here. I'm assuming he wants to fianchetto. This is kind of weird. So far, he has just pushed pawns. I feel like I could push my pawns, maybe, or just push this pawn. Whoops, don't do it. But. So typically in a London, this comes over here, but I've kind of got a little bit different thing going on. Um, I think I do want to put my knight here. This is kind of out of my comfort zone. I don't really know what's going on. So, um, so I see that my bishop can go here and threaten this. I don't... I mean... I think he wants to do something like this. Um, such a weird position. Um, Um, I'll bring out my bishop. I'll look to castle here shortly. I don't really know what he wants to do right now. He could play something like this. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and castle. I'm thinking about something like this to put pressure on his queen, but I'm not 100% sure. So he wants, I mean, it looks like he wants that. To me, this is super defended. And I can push for something like that, maybe. 
drop my bishop back. That's under attack. See what he wants to do. Um, I need to be careful with this. Okay. So he saw it. So if I push that pawn, I mean, I have a pawn defending this, but it's not necessarily the best thing in the world, right? So maybe I just push. If he takes, I take. Maybe I'll just do this for right now. Still defending this. Got a little bit better coverage on this. This defends as well as my queen on this pawn. Maybe I can come over here and do something like this. bring my rooks out um, so I could drop my bishop back and then this is not defended enough times but this is also not being attacked now because of his bishop being blocked so he's attacking this he might want to go here um I could pin the rook or the, the knight, excuse me. That seems like maybe not a terrible move. Now he can't really take this. Unless he pushes the pawn. And then I just might, I might just take then. I could also do something like pinning this knight to the king as well, but I don't necessarily see that as a good move. I mean, right now, the knight can't go here. Um, so if he takes... Okay, so he castled. Takes, takes... Or takes, takes, 
that doesn't look bad. What if I just take? So if I take, he doubles his pawns. about to say I'll get the fork if not so okay um Let's think about this. So this is a move, or excuse me, this is a move, but I could just take, or I could just take, right? Um, I don't necessarily want to let that go, um, but I need to move fast. So with that in mind, maybe let's, Um, play a habits move we'll see what he wants to do maybe I could break open the position myself but I'm not really seeing he's pretty I mean he's got doubled pawns I'm sure there's a way I could take advantage of this but I should probably get my rooks out and ready. Um, I have a isolated pawn. He has an isolated pawn. <clears throat> Definitely need to move my queen. My queen's in a bad spot. Okay, I don't know necessarily what that does. Um, we'll take.
I don't really know what to do. Um, this is a super weird position for me. And I could attack that pawn. Okay. If I do that, I quit defending this, but I do have two defenders. Alright, so he sacrificed a piece. I'm kind of in a little trouble right now, but I think I can just do this. Maybe this. Eh, I'd rather protect the pawn. He's going to give this queen check. And I'm going to take his queen. Because so. my queen stares at this. Protect the king again. Um, all right, this is becoming a little scary. I do think that I have enough pieces defending, and I'm attacking the queen now. This is hanging. beating him on time so that's good we really just need to make sure we play solidly from here on out um which is easier said than done We're doing really well on time now. Um, we just need to keep playing quickly. Um, I would like to get this rook active, put some pressure on, push these pawns. Um, he's under a minute now. My heart beats every time I play chess now, guys. I'm always so nervous. I won by resignation. Um, I don't know if he should have done that, but that's okay. Um, 
let's go ahead and uh, cue down the music real quick and um, we can fight for the center as well as I can he didn't even really fight for the center so um, I just keep pushing all my stuff out I have a plus 1.9 advantage which if you guys don't know um, plus one means you're up one point of material a pawn right so like even if i lost a pawn i would be equal if i was up plus one um so i'm almost up plus two so i mean i could lose two pawns and i'd still be in a better position now granted that's not exactly how it works but it's 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 supposed to be similar to that so um inaccuracy let's see what the best move was just pushing the pawn i kind of thought about it and i was like i mean this is a great little connect four it's always tough on the opponent to play something like that so, anyways, we play this move. He moves his bishop out. Um, I think that's a good move. Um, I don't know about this Fianchetto necessarily. I mean, I think that would have been a good move as well, maybe. Um, but he's playing super funny. So, I castle. He moves his queen out. That's a mistake. Um, so, I push my pawn. Definitely not the best move, but that's okay. Um I take threatening the rook. He moves. Excuse me, guys. Um, so this was not the most accurate move. Um, yeah, okay. Getting the rook out would have been great. Gives my king a little breathing room as well. Um, he pushes his knight out. I pin... The I pin it. I thought that was a good move. Apparently, it's not a good move. Um, uh, okay, that's awesome. So, the tactic here is give up the bishop because he's going to take, and then I pin the queen to the king because he can't err. Well, actually, I actually don't understand how that works right now. So if he takes, I take, he takes, then I do this, right? And I pin the queen to the king, winning the queen. So that's a really cool tactic. I did not see that. So um, anyways, he, so yeah, I pin, I pin the knight and he castles. Um, I push a pawn forward. This is a mistake. Um, okay. I thought about this, like... But I was like, the king's not there anymore. It's kind of like a useless pin. Um, I don't know. It's definitely a little bit better position for my bishop. But And, I mean, he could even do something like that where I'm just going to trade. Um, <clears throat> so he does that. I take. Best move. He takes. Um, I push a pawn. I'm glad that was the best move because I was like, um, this is a good move. I'm wondering, though, if my knight takes was the best move. Yeah! Threatening this, and he cannot he cannot take with this. So, I should have done that. After I played the move, I kind of was like, I should have thought about that. I think I talked about it a little bit as well. So, I finally take the knight, because I'm worried about him taking this and forking my queen, and we just both lose queens off the board. He takes with his queen, and I push my pawn to a4, trying to do... Some stuff over here. I feel pretty comfortable. I feel like most of my pieces defend each other. Um, this was the only obscure piece, I feel like, in what I had going on. So, he takes with the bishop. I take with the pawn. Um, I think the sacrifice is good sometimes, but other times it's not. And in this case, I had the ability to back my bishop up. Um, so, he pushes that forward. I back my bishop up i mean let's see what the best move is just push the pawn um if he takes i i can't take so i don't know i mean get the knight up here i guess and we have terrible intentions um anyways so Yeah, we get to this position. So he moves his rook over and doubles up, triples up. I mean, he's got all the pressure here. So I just do this, right? Protect this pawn. Um, not the best move, though. Let's see what the best move was. Uh, I guess I had enough defenders as is, right? I mean, if he takes, I take. 
he takes, I take, and he's kind of lost his attack at that point, right? So I guess I didn't need my knight, but I was hoping my queen could maybe go elsewhere. So anyways, um, I played this move. He moves his queen over here. I move my queen over here, and he resigns. Um, I don't really understand why, but he did. Um, I don't think he was in a winning situation by any means. I think he just kind of realized he sacrificed a bishop for almost no reason. But, I mean, it, it play it out, right? So, I played like an A50. He played like a 700. My opening was eh. His opening was eh. And my middle game was apparently great. So, let's keep up the good work, and uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.